I'll be making kombucha. So you'll be following me along as I make kombucha today. I don't have that much starter liquid because as you can see how many scobies I have, they've drunk it all up. Anyways, what you need to make kombucha is this. I like to use half gallon jars. So today I'll be using only two because of how much liquid I have left over. I don't have that much liquid left. So then you will be needing some organic sugar, organic tea. Um, I have some like a cheaper um, oolong tea. Um, and then I have this one that the box is from. I'll show you guys what this looks like. Right there. Oolong tea, organic oolong tea. This tea is fabulous. I get it on Amazon. It's great. It comes in this big box like that. Um, and it's just organic oolong. A hundred bags in there. So let's see. You guys need jars. You need some organic sugar. Organic tea. Oolong makes the, I say, the best tasting tea. You can use black tea, non-flavored. You cannot use fruit teas. Um, and because... Um, yeah, one of the reasons is because you need caffeine. The scoby needs sugar and caffeine. So, we're using oolong because it has a really nice mild taste. Green tea makes a little bit of a... Uh, to me, it's a little off. Like, the taste is a little bit off. Not as appealing. But what I also like to do is I add like a bag of jasmine tea along with these oolong teas. And it makes this delicious kombucha really so for a half a half a gallon jar you need half a cup of sugar there you go half a cup of sugar uh, and then for tea bags you will be needing one cup of kombucha from a previous batch if you don't have a previous batch or a scoby this is a scoby these are scobies Anyways, what you do is you buy a kombucha, um, like original kombucha, at your health food store. And um, don't get like a flavored one, but if you do, especially don't get one with chia seeds. It will ruin your whole kombucha thing. You add those when kombucha is done fermenting. So, you can get a, a bottle of kombucha at the store. You let it sit. Um, don't seal it because it needs oxygen to breathe um, but what you do is you can pour it into a, like a quart jar quart mason jar and you let it like um, put like a coffee filter on top um, so that there's like no flies get into it and then let it sit for like a couple of days and you will see a tiny little baby scoby growing on top so you use that little scoby and that kombucha liquid to start your own kombucha you don't need to buy anything online um, I know there's websites selling you a whole kit to make a kombucha trust me you don't need that this is the simplest quickest easiest method and cheapest if I can say so Hello there, Munchkin. I know, sweetheart. I'm going to give you a binky. Um, yeah, he needs to just sit there for a little bit so I can walk you guys through the process. There you go, little guy. There you go. And look at that little awesome piano music. Oh, yeah. Let's get closer to Mama. Wee. Whoa. Bouncing around. Uh oh, did I just crash into the table? I sure did. All right, guys, so I'll be pouring sugar and the tea. So what I do is I just fill half a cup of sugar into these jars. Here's another half cup for this jar. And then I'll be getting some tea bags. So four and four, eight tea bags. All right, you guys, so I put four tea bags into each jar. And what you do need is a little is a rubber band so you can hook them up like this. I find that to be super easy. So what you do is you put exactly how much sugar you need, tea bags, and then you fill it with water and then let the tea bags steep. I let them steep until the water's cool. Um, not just like a couple hours. If I do them in the morning, I wait till evening to pull them out. If I do the if I start kombucha in the evening, I wait till morning to pull them out. But just to make sure, just to cover the lids so that no flies get in there because it's sweet, um, sweet tea in there, and you know flies love sugar sweet stuff anyway. So we got this. 
Now I'll be adding some um, shoe. Oh, sorry, not shoe. Where the kids are <laughs> distracting my brain. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so here's my hot water, and I'll be adding some boiling water to cover the tea bag. So basically, about half a jar is how much I fill them. And if I don't have enough water, I just boil more. And then you use like a wooden spoon and you mix it up. All right, you guys, so got some water in there. So for this batch, oh, oh, you know what I forgot? Oopsie doopsie. I actually forgot to add my jasmine. Yeah, it's okay. We'll do that in a second. But anyways, I was going to say that um, I don't have much of this nice organic tea i have a lot of this like cheaper tea in here so what i did was two and two i used the the my favorite tea and then i used this so i just did two bags and two bags this way the taste will be fine and not like yeah we think it'll be good let's see where's my jasmine tea all right so here's the tea i'm gonna add one bag to each batch so what I do is I do four tea bags of like the oolong tea to give it that um, caffeine that it needs to grow. And then also I add like one tea bag of jasmine um, for that additional uh, what? flavor, additional good smell. Alright, so let's get those tea bags out. Sweetheart, you're being so nice and patient. Okay, you guys, so this is what I did. I added the jasmine to the jars, and then I just put the lids on top, keep the flies away, and that's it. And I'll see you guys in a few hours or like in the evening. All right. All right, you guys, this is the second part to my kombucha video. So this is evening. It's really late. My boys are sleeping, and I can finally finish this, and you guys will have a complete and full kombucha video. Um, so what I just did is I just pulled out the tea bags and I just squeezed, gave them a good, good squeeze and squeezed all the good, yummy caffeine right into the jars. And this is nice and cool, totally, totally cool. You cannot pour the kombucha starter, um, my hair, and you can't put the scoby into warm water because the heat kills off the probiotics so um let's see i don't i my measuring cup is dirty right now so i'm using like a shaker thingy so i'll be pouring eight ounces into that into this jar and then i will be also pouring that uh oh you know what i'm gonna have trouble because this thing is totally sealing it <laughs> all right all right there you go you guys there's like eight ounces in here so I'll be pouring this into this jar and then I need to get another eight ounces and pour it in the other jar. There you go. So we're going to pour that in here. Um, I used to make kombucha like on a regular basis and one of my sisters actually um, does it like totally on a regular basis. She does like three jars at a time like this. She'll do like three half gallon jars and she'll just like rotate and rotate and rotate. Like she does it like every three days, I think she said. So once they get through these jars, she has another batch that's ready. I used to be kind of like crazy, but I would make like four, five, six gallons at a time. But we drank it like nuts. And it's funny, but my boys loved it. My boys loved it. So I'm hoping that they will kind of grow to love it again. I'm pretty sure because it's delicious, sweet, um, kind of sparkly because of all the gas bubbles. Yes, and I'm trying to get this scoby out. Goodness gracious. All right, you guys, I have to turn the camera off and then basically <laughs> get that scoby out because I can't tear it apart with just one hand. Oh, I think I did it, but this is like a humongous piece. All right, you guys, so I got one scoby here. One goes in this jar, and then I'll be getting another one. And those are just, this is a small one. This nice, good, juicy looking one is way too big. I don't want to use it. So there you go. 
I got my starter liquid and I got my scobies. So all I do is just fill it to the top with water. Nice filtered water. To get a nice, delicious, and healthy um, kombucha, you need filtered water, um, organic sugar, and organic tea. Um, don't use any, like I said, fruit teas and things like that um, because it just doesn't ferment well with the fruits and you can't have flavoring that is like flavored, a fla oh, sorry, flavored with, um, what is it, like Ceylon tea? Don't use Ceylon tea because Ceylon tea has like these oils added to them. Um, so yeah, you don't, no oils, no fruits, um, and it has to be caffeinated. And the SCOBY, these, the bacteria, this probiotic, it feeds off of the sugar and it feeds off of the caffeine. So the um, finished product will be less sugar and less caffeine, and it will be chock full of probiotics. It tastes delicious and um, it's really good for your tummy. Oh, another thing that people do with these um, scobies, um, you can basically eat a piece of it and it would be like, like taking a probiotic capsule. Um, you could, I heard some people adding like pieces of it into their smoothie again as an additional uh, probiotic boost. And then another thing, um, like on your skin, I guess some people, if, if you have like breakouts or whatnot, um, it's good for that. And if anything, just go Google it. Google how to make kombucha or um, kombucha recipes or kombucha benefits, all of that stuff. It's out there. It's originated from China, I think, um, and from like thousands of years ago. And it's amazing. It really is. And it's delicious. And some people kind of have to get accustomed to the flavor. But... Um, it was no big deal to me, honestly. From the first time I tried it, it was delicious. The first batch I made, I basically ruined it because I didn't put the starter in there, the starter liquid. I just did the tea with a scoby and it just didn't <laughs> go very well. It molded. And I was like, forget this. I'm like, it's too difficult. <gasps> Is that my baby? Somebody opened the door in the room. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. But this is kind of how it goes. Um, fill it with water. Put a coffee filter on top. And then seal it with a rubber band. Coffee filter and then seal it with a rubber band. I write my date kind of like that. Um, I write when I did it. And then when I think it'll be ready. So I kind of, I usually give it like 10 days. If it's warm, I give it less days. If it's cold, like in the winter time, it takes a little bit longer for the probiotics to grow. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will be happy to answer. Um, if there's any other videos you want me to make, I'll be happy to. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And go make some kombucha because it is really, really good for you. And it is delicious really really delicious you can flavor it with fruit google that how to make it because i don't want to keep you sitting here watching this so just google it see how you can flavor it with real fruit and you can add some chia seeds to a finished uh, refrigerated product um it is delicious really really good okay bye bye hey guys i forgot to add um keep it away from direct sunlight and um, this is kind of what it looks like. See, that's today's date and I'm giving it eight days to ferment. After eight days, I will kind of take a peek and see how the scoby is growing. This, there's gonna be a new one growing right on top. They're, they don't always float. Sometimes they drop and that is totally fine too. So yeah, there you go. That's kind of what it looks like. Coffee filter, rubber band. It can breathe, nothing can get in and let it let it do its magic over these last i mean over the next eight days all right you guys that's all i wanted to add see ya